guys welcome back to my channel so today we are making a run to Hobby Lobby ours reopened um, in the last little while and so um, I've been kind of wanting to look at some of their outdoor stuff and I don't know I've gotten a lot of decor stuff whenever I went to Pennsylvania just for both from like uh, doing a little bit of shopping and then my mom's house and so I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby I don't know if we'll make any other stops I do want to get some coffee first and then we'll come home and there's a few little projects that I want to put together So I'm back home the girls are down for their naps and I decided to kind of focus on our back patio area today and I don't know what else I'll get into this video I didn't really plan it out I just kind of decided that I'm going to do some kind of decorating today and possibly some cleaning and we'll see what else happens in this video but I want to show you kind of my inspiration for our back patio so a little bit of a backstory we do rent this house but we do have in mind, and the owners know this as well, um, of possibly purchasing it in the near future or sometime. We haven't exactly had it all figured out. So when we, and if we purchase this house, we are planning to actually add on a covered like deck out the back of the house. And so right now we just have it very simple, you're gonna see, but I feel like this is also great for either renters or if you're on a budget and you just wanna make like a really nice little patio and you don't have anything that's very elaborate. These are just some easy, simple ideas um, that you can do in kind of any space that's outside. And I'm also very aware that like whenever it storms and things like that, I have to bring things in um, just because it does get really wet. I'll get into all of that whenever we go out there. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I'm really happy with what I found. Very excited to do this. All right, so if you're new to my channel, I always like to lay out kind of what inspires me for the space that I'm gonna be decorating. And these are only the things that I picked up today. I'm gonna be combining this with like stuff I already have. I'm gonna shop my house a little bit. And then some things that I picked up um, at my mom's house when we were there um, these past couple weeks. So. 
I have a lot here that I'm really excited about. So this sign, Welcome to Our Porch, um, was from Hobby Lobby. It's a metal sign. They had other porch signs, but they weren't metal. And with ours not being necessarily enclosed, I felt like it should be a metal sign. And then these things, I'll show you a little bit better once we get outside, but they're long stakes and they had different sizes of them. I kind of got them just to try it out to see if I like them and want to get a few more. They're really, really pretty. The camera, the lighting, in here is not even doing it justice like the green color of this is so beautiful and then this color I love as well these are from Hobby Lobby and they are outdoor cushions this here I stopped at Target and I grabbed this little guy I thought it might look nice on this tray so my color scheme I'm kind of going for is obviously like the green from plants and then this kind of like corally color and navy I love this combination I don't have it anywhere else in my house so I'm really excited to pull all of this in this I actually picked up at Target as well I have a plant that's on my front porch that I'm going to try to transplant in here to hang back there and if you guys are looking for really nice cement planters this was only $14.99 which I think is a really great deal so and especially for the size of it and then my daughters have a little picnic table and I'm gonna do a fun little DIY it's kind of something that I'm going to repaint seasonally just to do with whatever you know color scheme I'm going with uh, you'll see it all whenever we get out there this little guy I think is gonna go on their little picnic table so cute and it's in the dollar spot at Target it's five dollars right now they had other colors as well and then these I picked up at Lowe's they're these awesome ferns they had a really great deal going on where you could get two for 15 and they are hanging ones there's gonna be a lot more that I'm pulling into this because I have more things like I said but let's go back to the back porch okay so this is walking from our living room and actually this whole whole double door right here is getting replaced with a sliding door which I can't wait that's gonna be happening in the next couple weeks and it's gonna open up this doorway so much to be able to do that but we just have a canopy like this I can't remember exactly the size of this but I will link the canopy and everything that I can um, but it's nice and big and then we have these gove lights that's a brand that's kind of like a smart light system so we can make these lights any color we want we can turn them on with our phones um, and they're nice and bright and really light up the whole canopy I just actually secured them up there in the middle with a zip tie and then just had them go to each corner so right now the screens are closed I think I'm gonna open them up to work on everything out here this is the little picnic table as you can see the top of it is kind of chippy and so I actually got matte paint this time the spray paint and I'm gonna see if maybe that makes it last a little bit longer I think that this was like semi gloss or gloss whenever I did it last year so um, yeah and then I'm going to use painters tape and make it white and navy striped so I think it's gonna be really cute I need to put these in the garage the boots I also need to clean up and this I will sweep but I think Corey's going to pressure wash it that's our smoker this is just some toys that the girls had out here and I think I'm gonna hang the ferns in both of the corners I don't know I will work on all of this as I go. You guys know how this is and I'll let you watch the process.
the paint I'm going to use and it is a chalkboard paint I believe or chalked paint so I'm hoping that it binds a lot better to this than the last stuff did and it is ultra matte which I don't know if will make more difficult to wipe off or not um, and then the white I got is not chalk paint but it is ultra matte as well so we're gonna try this and see how it goes so I'm going to do at least one coat and then let it completely dry and see see where we're at and see if it needs a second coat. guys so it's been a little bit um i actually the girls are at home with corey and i'm actually sitting in front of lowe's right now so if you guys follow me on instagram then you know that with us going away i actually had one of my big palms die on me um, because it didn't get enough water and it's something that needs to be watered every couple days and I thought <laughs> that it died and we stuck it outside Corey threw it on the back of his truck and it got rained on for two days and it's revived kind of so I stopped at TJ Maxx just to pop in to see what they had and I found a really big pot for it for $11 on clearance so I'll show you that whenever um, I get back but I need to get some potting soil and I'm just gonna kind of poke around 
around their outdoor center a little bit since I don't have the girls with me and then we'll head back to the house. All right, I'm back home and here's the potting mix. This is the pot. It's not in like amazing condition, but it's really heavy duty and it was only $11 and it's really, really big. But the thing that I like about it is it has this strain in the bottom and these are really great for indoor plants. So I'm kind of thinking I may use this for my palm that I have inside because it needs a bigger planter anyways. So I'm gonna spray paint the outside of it black because it's really, really nicked up and probably just like, you know, into the top a little bit. And then here is the pour. <laughs> poor palm that got totally fried while we were gone it just needs a lot of water but it's turning green and like you can see up here that's a really good sign it is turning green again so I have another bucket um, that I think I'm gonna drill some holes in it can just drain on the ground when I water it and so I think I'm gonna put that one in that bucket Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Okay, I think I am pretty well finished out here for the day. <laughs> bucket is still drying out there or my uh, planter but I'm so happy with how this looks it's all cleaned up and looks so great we have family coming soon and we'll be able to use this space I love these I'm probably gonna get some more of these they had different heights and they were just really inexpensive and really cute and neat I love the way that they look um, just something kind of neat you can put anywhere since they just are a stake in the ground and I love the sign. It just all turned out perfectly. I don't know if I'll keep this here or not. Um, we'll probably end up using this to bring food out here. So I didn't want to load it up too much. But this is a real plant. Um, I think I had shown it to you guys in another video or on my Instagram page. And then this one is fake. I had picked it up at Target. It just looks like this. I have paint all over me from everything. Love how these look. I may get two more pillows. Maybe some navy ones just to tie it all together and I'm so happy with the color of this and how it turned out I'm not gonna do any kind of detailing on the top because I tried putting the painters tape across to make stripes and pulled some of it up and it literally just pulled the paint off I don't know if it's too fresh I could maybe try it tomorrow um, but either way it looks nice and cleaned up and I really like the color and then over here I did bring this little cart out here it's metal and I thought it would be fun to have as kind of like a plant stand out here and I can also respray paint it I had initially spray painted it. it was a total different color I got it at a yard sale so either that or just an extra space to put food when we're eating out here and we Corey and I were talking about maybe doing something around the edge of the bottom of the patio just because it tends to get muddy right around the edge um, just from all the water coming off and stuff like that and I would really love to get a rug for in here but you see he still does need to pressure wash but the water does not drain very quickly in here. I'm just so afraid if I put an outdoor rug in here, it will just hang on to water and get really nasty. If you guys have any tips or ideas of how I could do that, like maybe something I could put underneath the rug that would give drainage, um, let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear about that. Then over here is my sad, sad, sad palm, but I am going to try nursing it for a while. You guys can give me all the tips you want to in the comments about this situation. So basically we were gone for two weeks and I didn't have anybody water my indoor plants and all of them did pretty good but this one was like as you can see very fried it was really really brown um, when we came home and so I just kind of thought oh well it's gone I'm going to try and water it um, twice a week because that's generally how it does good it needs a lot of water see if it perks up I did as you saw trim away some of it some of the brown so I tried not to do too much because I didn't want to shock it but I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it will revive. We will see. Hopefully some sunshine and some good water will 
get it going again and then up here is my other little planter I need to take some more of the brown off of that and I did take the drain cork out of the bottom of that because this is actually a succulent and it does need to have the water drained off you don't water it that often so needless to say I think that the lady that once killed plants very consistently is becoming a plant lady we will see <laughs> it's been going pretty good One other thing I wanted to say is I think we're going to find some kind of container. Down there is our charcoal and that's just kind of where we hide it to keep it away from the moisture and the sun and all of that. But I'm thinking maybe on the bottom of this cart we will put some sort of a container to keep the charcoal. Let me know how you store your charcoal because I'm kind of looking into what it takes. I think you need a metal bucket with a lid to store it but I need to check that out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching you guys. This was so fun to do. I hope that it inspired you to decorate some outdoor space of your own even if it's just your doorstep. If you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.